Okay, what's going on, people? Um, getting ready to start the LED lighting system for the 225. Everything came in this week, um, so I'm going to get on it and get these things built. Uh, but as I'm doing it, I'm going to be recording. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to post it up on YouTube, but as long as I'm recording as I'm building, I can do a time lapse or just you know seldom updates or whatever. But I wanted to show everything I've got. So the first thing I got is uh, right here. This is, a, as it says, steveleds.com. It's a Typhoon controller, four channels. Um, it basically, it can adjust the LEDs to go from night to daylight and from daylight to night. Your light intensities. Um, it ha by having four controllers, you can e individually adjust each one. Um, got some lenses here. I think these are, uh, yeah, 60 degree lenses. Um, got my Royal Blues, neutral whites, and then these are cool whites right there. Uh, these are the adapters for the fans to turn on or plug in got me some uh, six inch wires 12 inch wires are there uh, some screws to uh, mount the fans and this is just a big goodies bag got a little bit of everything in there got the adhesive um, the, just Everything you'll see as I go, I'll explain what those are. Um, the power wires for the drivers. Here's the driver. Uh, 6048P. Uh, these can drive up to uh, 14 of these lights. Recommended to do over 7 or not less than 7. Here's the, here's the stealth fan. I've got so those will go on each uh, heat sink and there's the three heat sinks those are uh, six inch by 20 so we'll get on it we'll get building it and you know I'll keep updating but everything besides the controller came from rapidleds.com fully customizable LED sets I basically at the time I was choosing mine they didn't have a set for planted tanks they do now though uh, they actually just put it up kinda as I was making my order but great site asked them tons of questions they they got back to me immediately uh, so really excited to see how this is the way I've done it uh, actually I'm I do AutoCAD so uh, I'm kind of a little bit more prepared I guess or um, way I do stuff is I actually laid them out um, in AutoCAD. This one here is if I uh, used all the LEDs I was thinking, but I went down here. You can see these two, three little dots. I'm not actually using those today. Uh, that will be for expansion. I hope that I'll be able to put some more bright whites in there. But uh, as you can see, this is kind of how I'm laying my stuff out. Uh, these are blues. That's where I'm putting the blues. Neutral whites. Uh, these will be the three moonlights. And then all the rest of the dots here. Those are all cool whites. Um, the, also, the way I did this is if I want to expand and put like some reds in there, which I might have to. Um, sorry about the phone. I keep getting text messages. I can expand at a later time but this will get lights on my tank get me uh, allow me to start getting more plants in there and get growing but enough of me talking let's uh let's get on this and start building so okay, people so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure and get the layout on my heat sinks the way I need them so when I start placing the LEDs I have I know exactly where they go so I'm going to take my little diagram that I've already drawn up and use my tape measure and pretty much lay out how how everything needs to go on the heat sink 
So, um, you know, just kind of a little X where everything goes and see, see how it lays out. Um, basically what I've got happening here is I've got five rows from here to here. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. We'll just have to see. I might have to go down to four. And then the other way is um, I've got nine rows from here to here. And they are spaced roughly uh, two inches apart. Um, but right now how I have it laid out is they are offset a little bit. So really it's going to be three lights, then two lights, three lights, two lights, and so on. But let's get this laid out and we'll show you what I got. Okay, wanted to go on and show this real quick. I've got my grid pattern laid out, and like I said, um, the way I've designed it is where I can expand at a later time. What I'm showing right here is five row, two rows of five, so ten lights right there. Now, of course, I've got the whole heat sink, but originally I had this designed where only five lights should go into this spot right now how I'm going to build it today. Only five lights will go into this set. So basically, I can double this area. If I take away these extra lights, this is what I will end up with today. So, what I've done is I've allowed myself to add more lighting or be able to change up the spectrum by adding reds or more blues or anything I want. But I just kind of wanted to point that out and show what I have. Right now, I don't plan on adding that many lights. I can't expand on how I've designed this. So I'm thinking ahead and what might need to be done. So just a little FYI or uh, something to think about beforehand, but that's what I've got. So let's get back to work. I don't know if you can see that kind of in the light right there, but basically that's the kind of grid pattern I'm laying out. So from this way, you know, from this way, I'm doing them on one inch on center, and this way, two inches on center, and one inch off of all the sides. These are also as is heat sinks. Um, for the most part, they're in perfect condition. I can't, I can't believe um, they're calling these as is. A little bit of, you know, maybe scratches right here. But these go on into a covered aquarium, so it doesn't even really matter. Um, they're also expandable. This lip right here is made where you can put a, uh, a splash guard there for people that don't like to run uh, covers on their tanks. So, perfect deal. Um, I think I saved $8 a piece on these by getting them as is. Just a little uh, note there. Okay, so the next thing I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to be um, putting the, starting to glue the LEDs to the heat sink. So the first thing I have is um, the adhesive and it's a, it's a two part compound. You gotta kinda mix it up before you stick it on. And then the other thing is my LEDs. Um, so I'll do one color at a time so I don't get confused and get, you know, the mixed up. Um, because actually on these LEDs, they don't, they don't show or say what color they are. So the last thing you want to do is get them mixed up. But the first thing you need to test them and make sure they're working. So this little battery tester works great for that. And there's a negative and a positive and you just put it on there and they light up. So um, check them and make sure they all work. And I'll do that for the full heat sink. Okay, so I'm getting ready to attach these LEDs. 
And what I have here is adhesive, um, thermal adhes adhesive. So it pulls the heat away from the LEDs into the heat sink. It's a two-part component, and basically it's a mixture of one-to-one. -one. You have about a working time of three to five minutes. So uh, don't mix up a lot. Just mix up a little. And uh, it only takes a small, small amount to attach the LEDs. So I'll give it a try and see how, see how it works. Okay, so there's the first four. Um, I could have easily probably done all three heat sinks at once, but first time you're uh, you're probably you're not going to know. But uh, yeah, I'll try to get the other ones over here and uh, get them done real quick. Okay, so that's all my neutral neutral whites. So the next one I'm going to do is royal blues. Um, it actually is very easy to put it on. Um, it's best to have them all kind of laid out and ready to go before you start sticking them. I would just suggest having that whole color ready to go before you mix your, your uh, adhesive. That way you... Um, you know, have them all set now on all your heat sinks, and uh, that way it it doesn't waste time. Mm -hmm. You're you're ready to go. Otherwise, uh, anything you have to do in between sticking each uh, LED on there um, is going to uh, be an issue of getting them on before your glue or your adhesive sets up. So what I'm going to do is lay all three of them out like this, put them all on there, and that way I can go a little bit quicker. The other thing is, mm -hmm. you can see the two or yeah, the two gold things down at the bottom. That's where you test them. You also want to make sure when you put that on the heat sink, they're all in the same direction for your wiring purposes because uh, plus needs to go to minus, minus needs to go to plus when you're wiring. Okay, so once again, got all my lights tested, and now I'm ready to mix up my uh, my adhesive for the Royal Blues. Um, one thing I will say is, in my case, I've got a diagram that I'm going by. So, for me to know what lights are where, it's very easy. I can, I can follow my diagram and look back. But one thing you might think about is... If, if you don't have a diagram or a way to know what lights are what, um, you might think about actually wiring them, you know, like I went on and wired, wired the neutral whites before I put any more LEDs on there. But in my case, I can look back at my diagram and know which lights are where. So just uh, just kind of a random thought. Okay, so that's the Royal Blues and now Neutral Whites on the heat sinks. Um, next, I'm going to go in and lay out my Moonlights and get all those on there. My Moonlights are basically Neutral Whites. They're going to be running at a lot lower of a uh, million. All right, so three down. Um, now I've got the big sets to go of uh, cool or you know, bright whites, cool whites. Um, so I'm going to kind of move around here. Um, I'm only going to do one heat sink at a time. I've got about 12 on each heat sink. 
Um, actually, not even that many. I've got I've got nine on the heat sink. Um, so I've been doing about uh, eight to twelve right now. So um, I should be able to get nine just fine. Actually, I just done nine with the uh, the moonlights. Okay, so, got all my lights on, um, I think I'm going to give the uh, adhesive time to dry, grab me some lunch. This adhesive, it does kind of have a strong odor, odor but uh, it, it's not that bad, um, you know, I just found don't, don't mix up a, a big batch of it. And uh, don't try to lay out more LEDs than that you can do in just a few minutes. One, you don't you don't want to be really rushing. You, you kind of want to be able to casually do it. That way, you know you're you're not messing anything up. The other thing, you know, just having them all laid out. I think the diagram really helped me. I know it's kind of, uh, but it, it's a good idea. It doesn't have to be done by a computer, you know, you could sit down with just a ruler or, you know, some color pencils, whatever. Um, just kind of have an idea how you're going to lay it out. That That's the biggest thing. But, uh, yeah, uh, so I'll give the adhesive a little bit extra time to set up. It, it really shouldn't take any more time. I, I mean, I could probably start messing with it now, but I just want to make sure it's, it's set up good before I start, you know, pushing around on it, putting wires in. But that's what I'm doing. Um, it's actually been very easy so far. Um, so I'm sure, though, doing uh, the wiring is going to get a little bit harder. But, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll keep recording and uh, we'll see how she goes.